We went to Idaho to film six interviews for our Unega Mountain Dog Rescue documentary. We flew into Boise to film some B-roll around the city, the capital, and the stunning scenery. After walking around the city for a while, we headed to check out the studio we rented for the following day, where we would be conducting the first two of our interviews before heading to Sun Valley for the rest. first two interviews for the actual documentary. So we did two amazing ladies who've just, they're so involved in the ranching community and they just know so much about it. So we're really excited. We're, re we're really in reinvigorated to actually get this together, but none of that would have been possible without this amazing space that we were with. So I have Kyle here and this is his studio. There's not a lot of places, there's not a lot of pure spaces out there in Boise, but if you're looking for something with a big space that you can just move around and do stuff like, yeah, if you're filming, I highly recommend it. If you're doing photo or video work, definitely check out Kyle's listing. After a day of filming in Boise, we drove over to the Sun Valley area last night and we went and saw the dogs and Tiffany for a little bit. And now we are running packet pickup today. They have their first annual 5K, 10K half marathon tomorrow. So we are volunteering with this. We flew out to Idaho to do filming and to get um, all, if not most of our interviews done and some B-roll, but we also flew out specifically during this time so we could volunteer for the race and be here, snap some photos, help with packet pickup, registration and all that. Even though the weather was not as great as we had all hoped, the event was a huge success. Participants made their way to Unega and got to spend some quality face-to-face -face time scratching and loving on the sanctuary dogs. The runners traversed Rinker Rock Creek Ranch and endured mud, rain, wind, and plenty of hills. Unofficially, the team at Unega believe they have the toughest 5K in Idaho. We're so looking forward to helping grow the race next year and maybe even add a full marathon distance. Hello. So we're out somewhere west of Haley. We just wrapped up an amazing interview and we're out filming some B-roll. So we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere in the hills and yeah, it's just collecting some really good B-roll that we can use on for our film. So the last few days we have been super busy. We've been conducting interviews for the documentary as well as helping out with Unega's first race. And that's all been super fun, but we've been like jam-packed. And so today is more of a like a down day. So we are gonna run around and get some B-roll and whatnot. We're hoping for a little bit nicer weather so we could do a little bit a little bit more outside. Um, but if the weather doesn't cooperate, we're just gonna get some B-roll, prepare all our interview questions for tomorrow, and then be ready to go tomorrow when we're interviewing uh, Tiffany and Nicole and getting a little more B-roll and then hightailing it back to Boise to catch a flight home. I feel like this has been you all trip, just always sitting in the passenger seat holding up. Yeah, this has been me all trip. Why is there a roadblock? Deer crossing. Yeah, we literally saw a whole bunch of cars pulling off to the side of the road and realized there's like 50 deer just hanging out in somebody's ranch. So figured we might as well get some B-roll while we're here. So we decided to go somewhere we have never been in Idaho. So we drove hard west, no, hard east and drove through Cary and we're out over in like the Lava Lake area, which is super cool, there's a whole lot of nothing. So we pulled off on a dirt road and here we are taking a five minute time lapse. And this is our friend Brian who came to help us with the audio for the interviews, but he doesn't like to talk to the camera. Just interviewed Tiffany and now we are going to interview Nicole. <laughs> one down, one to go. As a surprise little bonus, the two ladies that adopted Pearl and Poppy, two Unega's more recent rescues, came out to Unega to love on their girls and we got to film them hanging out with their two precious little pups.
After a super fun day of filming Tiffany and Nicole, we packed up all our gear, hightailed it to Boise, deconstructing the big camera, and gonna board a plane, go to Seattle. It's been a fun, crazy, hectic five days or something like that where we conducted a whole bunch of interviews and very tired, very excited to go home, and very excited for the next chapter of this documentary to come to life.